What's up YouTube? Melton Metal Anthony here at my favorite welding supply, Magni Gas. And today we're gonna to be looking at a thermal arc welder, a Raider 10,000. And what I'm gonna do with this machine is take it and combine it with one that fell off the bed of my truck a while ago. We'll see how that turns out. And we're also gonna meet with my really cool friend, John and he's gonna explain some uh, different things about different welders they have for sale back there. So here we are inside of Magni Gas. You can see they got everything you can need here from hats, apparel, flap discs, gloves, helmets, even new machines. A couple of machines behind me that they're willing to get rid of. I love used machines, love restoring them, love fixing them, so I'm here to check them out today. So believe it or not, this is not as many machines as they usually have. John is a pro, he fixes these machines all the time. He fixes my machines when I can't figure it out. So uh, we're just gonna take a look and see what they got right now. See the weeds growing up around it here? This is an old Trailblazer 302, which is actually what I carry on my truck. Miller Pipe Pro. Probably got a Kubota in it. Some of these machines are customers, they're not all Magni Gas's machines. Yep, Kubota. What we got over here, another 302 Trailblazer. And this is really what I'm after, is the Raider 10,000. This is my boy John, he works here at Magni Gas. He's the man, he fixes all my machines, he makes sure they run right. And today he's got a couple of machines that uh, me and him are gonna look at. So uh, what were you saying about this Pipe Pro, John? So this Pipe Pro is basically like a hybrid machine. It's, it's mainly a generator that has a, another welder that sits inside of it. So they, what they do is they put a, an XMT 304 at this point because it's a Pipe Pro 304. It's an inverter based machine that's ran off the generator. So the problem with this one is the control board for that that inverter welder is bad. So at that point, you'd have to replace it. I don't know if it's even still made, but at the time, it was somewhere around like 1500 bucks for that board. I might be interested in this machine, you know, because I've always wanted a diesel machine, you know yeah. that, after our last episode. The only other problem is, which you could probably fix yourself, is going to be this manifold is bad. So you can oh, see okay. yeah, there's a hole the in it. That was the only thing I ever saw. The rest of the engine was pretty good shape. And that's why I mainly kept it was for the engine. Yeah, this is the same Kubota as the uh, as the one that ran away on. Same exact engine. Okay. So nothing going on with that besides the control board. Okay. So it generated power still. I knew that. The machine you're looking at, Raider 10,000 Pro. Thermal Arc made it. Uh, made by Victor Technologies. Um, they come with a, I think it's a GX260 Honda engine on it, and they have a lot of problems with their coil packs for their ignition. And I have two brand new ones, so. Is that what we got over here? That's the ones right there. Okay. And I found out that you have to buy OEM coil packs in order to fix it because the knockoffs don't work. No. This motor on a lot of different type of machines, okay. but Thermal Arc was the only one that used a Honda. I mean, Honda is usually a good motor. I mean, I guess not in this case. They are, but uh, again, it's unfortunate that you can't put so knockoffs. We what do you want? Yeah, you have to use OEM parts to even get it to run. Save yourself a bit of money. You yeah. Did tell me five hundred a couple of, a couple of months ago. Yeah. I'm gonna put that out there. Okay. Well, I'd be like, I mean, to be honest, because I, you I know. Could do 500. I got the, uh, I got that other machine, you know, I mean, would you do 300? I have more How about 400? Give me in the middle. I can get it running myself, so twice that. I know, then well, you don't have to get it running yourself. I know you got 20 other machines in there. Sometimes when you're haggling, it helps to remind people that they have other stuff on their plate. I'll come over here loaded up with the crane. 500 is I know it is, Especially but, but 400 is really a steal. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, I know. I know you got a lot of welders to fix. I'll pay for it right now. Throw in the bed of the truck. You don't got to look at it no more. I'm not 500. Ah, come on, John. I got to make something off of it. And sometimes when you're haggling, a little humor helps too. Make it room. <laughs> <laughs> I think I paid like 
making a hundred dollars. Plus, plus I got a coil to pay. So you make forty dollars. <laughs> make forty dollars in some room. All you're gonna do is just fix it and resell it. And sometimes when you're trying to make a deal, it helps to point out the things that are flawed in the item that you're trying to purchase. Well, I'll tell you both the outlets are busted on this thing. Yeah, well, who knows about uh, GFCI's from the green thing? That'd be the first thing I'd get rid of. All right, so I was able to make a deal with John on this thermal arc for 450. I'm going to take it home, refurbish it, combine it with the one that I smashed up, or maybe just fix this one and sell the other one for parts, like John suggested. Oh yeah. But all right. Here, what do you think, John? I got a good deal. I think you got a hell of a deal. Hell of a deal. All right, so I'm going to use my old crane to load this bad boy up. Melton Metal Anthony, John's behind the camera, have a great day.